Let's see what we can do. Talents. Item level. Oh, 170. I thought I was 160, to be honest. Go on the mage real quick. Go on the mage. Just kidding. On the healer. Pop down cooldowns. Not going to use true shot. Ooh. Explosive shot was nice there. We'll slow this guy. Ah, uh, I wish this wasn't line of sight like classic WoW. Don't worry. We'll hit him through the mountains. Another slow. We're going to get one aim shot and leave him with that. There we go. Happy birthday. Don't think our flag carry is going to die, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's grab this Berserking buff. So, Marksman Hunter. Still, in my opinion, the best uh, Hunter spec currently. I don't... I'd Like, survival's not bad. I played survival. I was thinking to myself, oh, this isn't bad. You know, it's, it's okay. Not bad. Next one up is, I'd say, Beast Mastery. Beast Mastery in general is just kind of... I don't know. It's it's the spec you play when you don't know how to play the other two hunter specs, so that's that's my two cents on it. Well binding shot, this restoration shaman. Not gonna interrupt healing wave. Interrupting gross. Your team literally consists of mages as well, so how many mages do they have? Three mages. And lucky for us, guys. Lucky for us as a hunter, mages are I'd I'd say we, we do the best against mages. I mean, they have no armor. Their range class were ranged as well. Love it. They're backpedaling too. Use double tap, rapid fire. Boom, damage. That's fucking disgusting. That fleshcraft though. I do like the fleshcraft buff because it actually makes fleshcraft useful. And I actually saw there was uh, uh, a good amount of people actually complaining. And uh, he may or may not have been a rogue player that, oh, I can't one shot this guy now. Because he has fleshcraft. Well, dang, dude. Dang, it's almost like it's meant to counteract the rogue gameplay that's currently existing in the game. I actually do actually really, really enjoy the fleshcraft change. I think it's nice. Of course, this is coming from the guy that's really undergeared and gets one shot constantly, but... Pretty sure they buffed fleshcraft from... I think it's 20% of your max health to 40% of your max health. And now... You no longer have to be near a corpse to get the full, like, 40% bubble from it, or 40% shield from it. And now all you have to do to get that decent shield is just cast the ability. And then if you actually run near an enemy while using Flashcraft, it reduces the cooldown. Rather than increasing the, the pot potency of the shield itself. So that's nice. In other news, Alliance has been uh, letting me down a good bit lately, or at least, you know, the cues this morning. The cues this morning have been interesting to say... To say it in a kind manner, I suppose. It's been an interesting time. I'm gonna throw that up there. Go hit, uh, hit the mage, of course. Goodbye, all of your health. Goodbye, health. Oh my god, dude, so gross. And this is why I say we're good against mages. That one double tap rapid fire did so much damage. Gonna get the haste buff here again. Which, by the way, I'm not really sure if this haste buff town is actually the best. Uh, personally, I just like it because I like having more secondary stats, but I do think a good bit of hunters take, uh, where is it? Streamline. I feel like most hunters take streamline, but we're not most hunters. Also, I feel like I never see hunters, too. I feel like hunter is one of the least played classes right now. And if you're a survival hunter, then you you literally play the least played spec in the game, in my opinion. Pretty pretty close. Like I'd say, if you're playing survival, you're competing with uh, demonology for just like the spec no one fucking plays. Alliance, you are making up for the lost battlegrounds I had before this so well. Give me that haste, bitch. Give me that haste, bitch. Dark Archangel, very nice. Very nice. Come on, priest. You know, you, oh man. That Cataclysm hurt a little bit. Ah, uh, we have to run. We have to run. <laughs> we ran in perfect timing, too. He popped Convoke. <coughs> oh, nice. Sorry, I'm allergic to no skills, so... That Convoke kind of made me sneeze a little bit. God, I hate Convoke so much. Our rogue is AFK in enemy tunnel. That's like the last thing you should be complaining about. That's kind of good, in my opinion. Ow. Razzy, you are a grade A bitch for using that line of sight tactic. Grade A. I'm probably gonna use my Covenant ability on him, so I can actually uh, one-shot him. Or at least attempt to one-shot him. So let's get haste here. 
Uh, let's actually purge. Didn't get it, feels bad. Why can he hit from there, but we can't? Maybe there's a hunter up there. So many Archangels, dude. It's nice that they made it so Archangel applies to everyone now, instead of just, you know, one person. Alright, cooldown. Double tap, explosive shot, rapid fire. See what we can do. And he figures out to range. What a five head genius. Probably just gonna build some distance between us and their entire team real quick. True shot aura. Probably should have used that on the warlock up there, but that's okay. Boyer decides that I am the best target. That we throw a trap on him. Can sincerely not tell if this resto druid slash druid is a healer, if it's the balanced druid. Okay, it's a balanced druid. We don't have any interrupt for that shaman. Feels real bad. Uses that OP fleshcraft. We're just gonna probably switch on the warrior here. Get the warrior down. Go on the druid, who's a balanced druid, but is choosing to sit in bear form. These tactics are not known to me. Back on the healer. With that fucking 50k fleshcraft, or whoa, however much he's healing with that fucking shield. Interrupted at the last second. Ooh, I tried, I tried. We can trap his next cast if we really want to. Oh, I shouldn't have trapped. I should have trapped. He was lightning lassoed and the trap got removed. The, the trap removed the lightning lasso there, so. Oh, that's okay. We still got him. We still got his ass, dude. I'm still waiting for the warlock to kind of go down from his pedestal. Up there. He's back at normal health pools. Feels bad. Go on the balance. Ah, oh, there's the warlock. Gonna pour it back up immediately, though. See if we can purge. Didn't get anything. Double tap, rapid fire, interrupt chaos bolt. Now he can't portal for a little bit. He's probably gonna panic port. Or he just goes near his healer. Either one. Drew shot aura. Get that sweet damage increase. Get another aim shot off on this mage. Should, you know, be focusing their healer here, but ah, oh, gross. Focusing healers and shit. Go on this action sap guy. I actually do like playing hunter a good bit. I know this is an unpopular opinion because just no one plays Hunter, but are we dead? I fucking hate Convoke, man. It's such a trash ability. I would sell one of my nuts for Convoke to be removed from the game. I would take that sacrifice for all of WoW players. Not even one nut, honestly. You can take the whole fucking sack, dude. If you took my whole sack, got rid of Convoke, I would not peep. Not one complaint. Fucking Convoke, man. That was a good graveyard camp, though. Very, very good graveyard camp. We'll pop cooldowns on this guy. See if he chooses to go on me. Mortal coil, good job. So we only trinket if he uses... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll interrupt the demonic gateway, why not? I was gonna say, we're only gonna interrupt if he uses Chaos Bolt, but... You know, he's trying to get away like a bitch. On the other warlock... Uh, Fain Death, hey, got your ass. Now we have to turtle here. Don't think we turtled. <laughs> yeah, we did not turtle in time. Whatever, that's okay. Go on the warrior here. Even though he has a healer on him, we'll slow. Slow, there we go. Maybe go on this resto shaman just for a little bit. I don't want to try and burst this warrior down, so let's try it. Explosive shot, aim shot, and he's, he's gone. That was shaman damage as well, but... I don't know, the aim shot combo there was... I mean, it still paid off, you know? It still did decent damage. And there's always one thing that surprises me about Marksman Hunter, especially at the item level I'm at. I'm at 170 item level, and it's the damage we do, man. The damage we do is actually pretty good. And every time I played Marksman, I have not been geared whatsoever, but... These recent times, man, these recent times. It's been fun times. Another Mortal Coil, I'm calling it. There we go, buddy. Good job, I'm proud of you. Charge me, warrior. Thank you. Oh, that... <laughs> that was... That was butchered. That was absolutely butchered there. That's okay. Where'd my binding shot go? Hello? He was on the binding. That, that had to be a bug. Yeah, it's, it, it was right on top of him. So maybe binding doesn't apply while they're in Frost Trap. Because it, maybe it doesn't apply the debuff? I don't know. That was very interesting. I have not seen that interaction in any of my days. Press Convoke, bitch. Press Convoke so I can ruin your day and interrupt it. Because you ruined mine when you pressed Convoke with all that skill. The healer on me for no reason. Don't. 
don't star search me for all of my health, please. Druids are such a threat, man. Such a threat. One thing I'm still not used to, by the way, that haste, though. That haste with rapid fire is absolutely pitiful. Still not used to the rapid fire cooldown reduction. God, our damage is so good for being undergeared, man. Like, we compete with people that are actually decently geared, so... That's Marksman, everyone. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, description, bell thing, Twitch, Twitter, all of those things. Until next time, take it easy, guys.